Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of hundreds of online video tutorials available for free at www.solidcamp.com, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My goal is to be your personal Solid Camp mentor, always available to show you the best ways to get to where you want to go in Solid Camp. In this session, we'll be showing you some tips and tricks about channeling in iMachining. In this part that we see on our screen, I'd like to machine out the material that's on this part over here from this side and on the flip side as well. Our stack material is the block as shown over here and we'll be doing this on a fourth axis machine using this particular holding fixture on the parts. If we take a look at our operation, you'll see that the geometry in this particular case is this area over here where all sides except for the wall is marked as open. The tool that I will be using will be a 10 millimeter end mill. Now if we take a look at our technology wizard, we'll be going down a total of 21 millimeters and if we go into our technology you'll see that our channels are set in its default mold as on. Now let's take a look at the simulation. As you can see the tool will be going down and working its way into the part first creating a channel along this area over here removing that material and when it finishes this, it'll do a spiral cut as shown over here, removing the rest of this material. And this is not a problem at all. In fact, it is done very nicely on this part as it has much support around it to be able to do this type of machining. Now that it's being finished, I'd like to do the same thing on the flip side. So if I go into my next operation, I'll be doing it on the next home position and this time the geometry is on the flip side of the part as shown over here but basically it is the exact same type of geometry that I had before. Again I'll be using the exact same tool going down the exact same depth but let's take a look now at the simulation and we'll note that a, pro a problem occurs when doing something like this. As this is being cut now again creating the channel across the part you'll note that the problem is very simple. The floor over here, now that the material has been cut off on the other side, is very thin. So when this channel is created and finished, you'll have all this bulk of material still have to be removed with very little support on that material. Something like that will actually cause a lot of vibration on the floor and may possibly even endanger your tool by breaking it. The way we can deal with this is very simple. All we have to do now is just go into our technology field and in our channels turn off the molding. By doing that we'll be actually doing a tricordial cut on the outside of the part always working from the outside in. If we take a look at our simulation you'll see that the tool this time is working in a trochordial fashion around the part, thereby giving much support needed to this material over here from the back over here. And this is how we can do this part using the same type of geometry but on one side doing a channel and then a spiral cut and on the other side with the same type of geometry using a trochordial cut to complete this part. For more videos, please see our website, solidcam.com, under Solicam Professor. Thank you for joining us on Solicam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.